Woke up this morning to teach you how to play. Woke up this morning to teach you how to play the blues like I do. Hello friends, how do you do? I hope you are doing great. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first video you're watching, I always upload um, some uh, instructional uh, tutorials on how to play the guitar. And right now I am in lesson seven on how to play the blues. And even if you are just beginning out, this lesson is suitable for you and it is very easy you can learn now i have to admit that blues may seem to be very easy but is one of the most complex music to learn and encapsulate so to say and the most effective way to do this or to overcome that is to be able to practice uh more and consistently and just very slow get the basics and practice every day and i guarantee you by the end of the year you will be very very good player of the blues now the blues uh uses the seven chords which we have learned already like e7 a7 and b7 uh my apologies i forgot my alan key so i can't adjust my trust rod the action on my guitar is very low. Uh, the first and the second string are giving a little buzz, but bear with me, just learn. Okay, now today the lesson is on the minor pentatonic and the blues scale. The difference is very uh, literal. Okay, so the, the E minor pentatonic scale we are going to learn it in this first position because uh, this is the most popular position that a lot of guitarists are using. So it is worth learning. So um, starting with the low E, so we have E, which is open, then third fret, then you have open A, then second fret, open D, second fret, open G, second fret, then open B, third fret, open E, third fret. So if I mention only the frets starting uh, with the high, the low E, then you have zero, three, zero, two, zero, two, zero, two, zero three zero three that is the e minor pentatonic scale so i can go up like three zero three zero two zero two zero two zero three zero now when i was learning i didn't know that i'm using also the the, the open string the knot is helping so technically in a, in a reality way, the more reality way you should be playing like this. So like zero, three, zero, two, zero, two, zero, two, zero, three, zero, three. But because we have the nut, then our open strings are also are already taken care by the nut. So if I play here at the 12th fret, then I have to do like um, 12, 15, 12, 14, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. But because the nut is here, it's like the nut, if the nut was here, then I could play only this one. That's the, the way it is. I never knew this one. I discovered it later when I was learning. So, again, like I said, I have some little bars, but Bear with me. So 
So practice that one and make sure you use each finger uh, having its own fret. So like on the third fret, I'm using my index, I mean my, my ring, and I'm using my middle finger on the second fret, and I'm using my ring finger on the third fret again. So like... So open E, third fret, open second, open second, open second, open third, open third. So practice that one. And when you play in the mix, that one is where it makes sense. Like you have this E, A, then the scale. B, E, you see, so we will be learning on how to use those one effectively in the coming videos, but for now, I would like you, if you don't know that one, just make sure you know how to play that one, and that was the E minor pentatonic scale. Now, the E blues scale or E blues scale is the same, but we add a few notes, which only two notes. So we did was 0, 3, 0, 2. Now here, instead of 0, 2, we are doing 0, 1, 2. So 0, 2 here on the fourth uh, string, 0, 2 here on the third string, and Z zero two three on the third string, then zero two zero two again. So it is open three, open two, three, open two, open two, three, open three, open three. So it sounds something like this. able to do that uh, see here how I'm using my my ring and my index because it is a three two zero two zero two one zero on the fifth string it is two zero I mean two one zero then three zero so you should be able to do that And when you hear the blues people play, you always hear this. So here is you slide from the second to the third. You see? By the way, on my picking hand, I'm using my 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 thumb and my my middle finger. You see? And here, what I'm doing here, <clears throat> I'm just hammering on. So, like zero on the fourth string, zero, then do like this. You hear this trill every time you hear people play the blues. And because this is, we are in the key of E, and this is elephant and donkeys. So this is D, so D, D sharp, E. So that's why it... it they trill on this E. You see? So yeah. Then E. O. Then B7. here in the in the 12th fret here to be like this see 
easy. That's how we play here. And notice this one. See? Like I said, I have some bars, but bear with me just to learn. So you can use any part of that scale to improvise a blues like this. Then A7. Even when I'm hammering on here, I'm doing on the third fret first string. And normally, we bend this uh, second uh, fret, uh, I mean second string, third fret. So here, just play, and here, we bend this string just a little notch, like... See? Even this one, you can bend a little. See? that so <clears throat> again excuse me for the buzz but i hope this will help you to learn if you are following it will sound very good on a, <clears throat> a setup guitar and i hope this uh helps you learn uh it, it will help you to learn something on how to play the blues thank you very much for joining in if you have any questions anything to say you are warmly welcome if you don't understand please ask Subscribe for more, click the bell for more too, share this video to your friends whom you think they will be um, happy to learn how to play the blues. Otherwise, greetings from Mufindi district, Iringa region, Tanzania, East Africa. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next. Bye for now.